Hello friends, in this video I am going to take an example which is example 7. Let's suppose you want to switch on a fan first. Now we will take the coil Q1 as the fan first by pushing slash releasing a button. Then by again pushing slash releasing the same button, fan 2 we will take it as coil second will go on and the first fan which is Q1 will go off and by pushing slash releasing the button for the third time the fan 3 take it as coil Q3 will go on the first fan and the second fan which is Q1 and Q2 will go off now let's head over to the you are going to make a project new project here and you will be needing to make a new folder and I named the folder as example 7 then after you need to create variables here first of all you will create a push button and then after you will create three coils and the type of the variables will be boolean then after for this letter diagram, you are going to need three memory bits, which is M0, M1, and M2. I already created the letter diagram here. I will delete the letter diagram. And we will start from the beginning here. Now I will delete these three two and then after as you can see I already created two power rails one on the left side and another one on the right side. First of all, I will add a contact here, which will be a push button, and I will adjust the block size. Then, after, I will create a coil here on the right side, and I will name the coil as Q first, which is going to be our fan first. Then, after, I'll be needing to join these pins here. Now I will copy and paste the push button here and I will modify the push button as Q1. I'll add the Q1 here to make it a push button. Now, this is going to be our first rail here. Let me show you the Boolean form of the example 7. Now, as we have a push button here and we have three fans, which is Q1, Q2 and Q3 and the push button will be C1. First of all, when I press and release the C1, which is the push button, the first time only Q1 will be true, Q2 and Q3 will be false. Then after, when I press slash release the push button, which is C1 for the second time, only Q2 will be true, Q1 and Q3 will be false. Then again, for the last time, when I press slash release the C1, only Q3 will be true. Q1 and Q2 will be false. First of all, I will edit the push button as C1 and I will press OK. Now we are ready to go for the letter diagram here. 
then I will paste the push button on the left side and which is now C1 I will modify the C1 as normally close contact after I will modify the C1 as Q1 now this is also known as lacing because I used the output as input on the right side I'm going to need a coil here for the second rail I will use the memory bit here M0 now I latched the M0 here in parallel with the C1 and Q1 thereafter I will start with the third rail here I will modify it as C1 normally open contact then I will paste another contact here and I will edit it as M0 then on the right side I will add a coil Q2 here and I will adjust the block size I will connect these pins here and thereafter I will paste the C1 and I will edit it as Q2 now I created three rails here and for the next three rails I will do the same I'll modify this as M1 on left side and I will modify the C1 as normally closed then I will use the Q2 in series with the C1 and I will press OK then I will join these pins and on the right side I'm going to need a coil which will be M1 then I will join these pins here and I will adjust the block size and for the fifth I'm going to need first the C1 and in series I'm going to need the M1 join these pins and I will add a coil on the right side which will be M2 sorry I just need to connect these pins here and then I will adjust it as block size and in parallel I will latch the M2 
and I'll join the pin with the power rail and the second one with the coil M2 for the last one this will be our M2 and on the right side going to need a coil which will be Q3 our, our last output and I will join these pins here and I will also paste the contact C1 and I will edit it as Q3 I will press OK then after I will join these pins here okay now let's start with the simulation here I will press the run the simulation is complete I will click on the glasses here thereafter first of all as you can see Q1 Q2 and Q3 I will also show you the input which is C1 when I modify the C1 for the first time the Q1 will be true and when I force false or release the C1 the Q1 as you can see is still true now for the second time when I force true to the C1 the Q2 is true and when I force false the Q2 is still true for the last time when I force true the Q3 is true and when I force false the Q3 is still true now you see that here the letter diagram is not complete there is still some modification to do now you saw that when I modified the C1 to the second time when I pressed the C1 and then released the Q1 was still true but it should not be true it should go false which means that I'm going to need a normally closed contact here of Q2 and also for the Q3 it should be false which means that I have to add a Q3 normally close contact in series with the Q1 coil sorry forgot to put the normally close contact now now we have Q2 and Q3 in series with the coil Q1. Same goes for Q2, which means that when I modify the Q3, the Q2 should go false. When Q2 is true, When Q3 is true, the Q2 should go false. Now, I guess our letter diagram is complete here. Okay, now I will start the simulation again. I will click on the debug instance thereafter I will drag this a bit up now I will clear this and I will show you the Q1, Q2 and Q3 then C1 in sequence
thereafter when I press and release the C1 the Q1 is true for the first time and when I modify or press and release the C1 for the second time the Q2 is true Q1 and Q3 is false which was the question here and for the last time when I modify or force true then release or force false the C1 or input here the coil Q3 will be true Q1 and Q2 will be false now let me show you if I or what will happen if I modify the C1 for the fourth time when I force true and force false you will see that the Q3 is still true Q1 and Q2 is false which means that I have to stop the simulation and then again start the simulation if I want to work it as given in the example now I start the simulation again and let me show you again the example here when I force true or press the C1 here the Q1 is true and when I force false, the Q1 is still true. For the second time, when I force true the C1, the Q2 is true. And when I release the C1, the Q2 is still true. For the last time, which is Q3, when I force true, for the first time the Q3 is true and when I force false the Q3 is still true now I want you to comment that what should I do if I want this example in a loop which means that when I press and release for the fourth time the first coil should go on second and third should go off and for the fifth time the second coil should go on first and third should go off and so on and so forth this ends our video here thank you for watching